Baltimore Police Department is doing more to serve their community. Well, you've got people with special needs, elderly people with dementia. We've got some people on there that have some traumatic brain injuries. Their special needs alert and identification program serving as another tool for families that for far too long was unavailable. They fill out the form and when they hit the submit the form, it comes directly to me in dispatch. We take the form with all their personal information, their name, their age, stuff like that, but it also includes what they're afraid of, if they have wandering tendencies, where they like to hide, what brings them comfort. So officers take a variety of calls and it's a very complex and difficult job and you never know what you're walking into. So when our call center, our 911 center can take information in and push that out to the officer, the more information we can give to the officer before they arrive on scene. Officers here at the Moore Police Department say an individual with autism is seven times more likely to come in contact with first responders. Having information like this can be the difference between a successful and unsuccessful call. What the SED program allows them to do is take specific measures to already start diffusing and de-escalating that event even before they arrive. Some are confused, especially for the kids, you know, that are nonverbal or the ones that tend to wander. Tammy Cohen says it was a personal connection that inspired her to help launch the program. I have a grandson that has autism and they live out of state, but there's no program like that. And he's older now and doing much better. But as a very young child, he was a runner and nonverbal and there was just no way to let anybody in the community know. And this this gives us resources that we haven't had before. So it's nice. Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.